there. So this is Rachel, one of the vets from Ash Veterinary Surgery and I wanted to talk to you about cat boxes so you've got an idea of what to get when you get a new kitten or before you bring your cat to the vet. Now I've got a variety of boxes here to show you and I wanted to talk about what are good ideas for boxes and bad ideas for boxes. We may get some visits from my cats who are currently out in the garden watching me record this so we'll see if they turn up. Now first thing I would say about getting a box is that whatever box you get, you're best to make sure that it has a solid plastic bottom. A lot of the old wicker carriers, if your cat has an accident in them, will leak on the car seat or you'll end up with urine on your lap and it's not very pleasant. So first thing I would say is make sure that you get a box which has a, a solid plastic bottom. Now the next thing to look at are the catchers. These catchers are not good because they're really difficult to try and move to get the door in and out so you want something which has nice big easy to secure catches you also want a box that comes apart now this one is supposed to come apart but it doesn't do it very well so you're left with this relatively small hole to try and stuff your cat through in the first place and cats don't like that so I would make sure that you get a box that comes apart. So something like this which is solid is not bad but it's also not great. So don't look for something like that. This is my sort of second best box. So this is a box which has nice catches here which are easy to undo. It means that you can take the door off completely and you've got a relatively big door to try and fit your cat through. And when you come to put it back on, you can see easily that these catchers are nice and secure. So you know that your door is nice and rigid. The other advantage of this box is that it does come apart very easily. So if you undo these catchers along the sides, like this, and then lift the top off completely so you can put your cat in there and they can stay in there even on the on the examination table often there's a lot that we can do with cats in their boxes so if they're secure in their box they can stay in there the other thing you'll notice with all these boxes is they've all got absorbent material and then something nice and padded for your cat to sit on because again comfort's quite important and you want to make sure that your cat is nice and comfortable within the box so you can see there Put the lid back on, make sure that it all clicks into place and then very easily snap the catches, put the door in and your cat's ready for transport to the vets. Now my favourite box of the three that I've got is this one. So. This one doesn't have the door catches in the same way, but the door is really easy to, to get in and out. So you open it to swing it. If you undo this catch on the side, you can take the door out completely. But what it's also got is it's got a large flap on the top that you can easily get your cat in and out of. So you can put them into this space and a lot of cats much prefer being put down into a space rather than being shoved through the front. So we've got a top that then catches nicely and that's nice and secure. And again the other advantage of this box is that you can undo it to take the top off completely. So you can take that off and there's a big space there you can easily put your cat into and again newspaper and a blanket. Now with your boxes it's a really good idea to keep them round the house somewhere rather than just bringing them out when your cat's got to go to the vets or the cattery or something like that. So what I would do, this box lives in the living room and Jack, my cat, sleeps in it quite often. Um, one of the other boxes lives on the landing and Luca, one of my other cats, sleeps in there. So if you have the box out, it's something familiar for them. It's something which is nice and easy. Um, and they don't feel upset immediately you put them in the box because it smells familiar and they know what they're doing there.